what is up you guys i am so excited to be here doing a reading y'all don't understand how hard these past couple days were i'm trying to do multiple things at one time okay i'm vlogging i'm doing all kinds of stuff um we're not even going to talk about it right now i will be leaving the information for my vlog channel down in the description box below so if you're into that go and check that out but if you are new to my channel welcome be sure that you hit that subscribe button to become a part of the cartel crew we are growing over here and um we get down to business so we're gonna go ahead and tap straight into what it is that you all are feeling at this moment okay i want to be sure that you are taking what resonates and leave what does not for whoever the hell it does belong to okay we are going to get down into what it is that my Aquarius gang is feeling, my sun, moon, rise, and Venus signs, okay? If you are a cross-watcher, be sure that you are respectfully placing yourself in the story as you see fit, okay? What I will say is somebody here needs to take a breath. Let's take a moment. Okay? Release it. It is so much tension in the air here, okay? You beefing with somebody, somebody beefing with you, and you don't know about it. Like, what's going on? You arguing with somebody for sure. Mystery. Okay, that's the problem. So, a lot of you are trying to figure someone out, or maybe someone's trying to figure you out, but I definitely feel like you're in a situation where you're trying to figure out what is really going on with a person, right? There's a lot of tension going on. Hmm. You had nature at the bottom of the deck. A lot of you could be traveling to go see somebody, or maybe this person is coming toward you. But either way, you're trying to figure out a lot of shit when it comes to something, okay? Let's go ahead and tap into, thank you, the energy, devotion. Hmm. So immediately, I get that a lot of you could be getting married. A lot of you are looking to be sure that this is a commitment you are really ready to make. I think a lot of you are ready to be devoted to someone um, or want to be sure that a person is devoted to you. The energy is interchangeable. It is fluid. So it can go both ways. I just truly feel that someone is wanting to make sure that they are making the right decisions, right? You are not wanting to fuck up and make a terrible decision at this moment in your life. Someone gives the fuck up on fuckery, okay? Let's go ahead and tap in. It's a lot going on. It's a lot. We're not going to pull it. We're going to let spirit do what it needs to do. Spirit, can we go ahead? Okay, all right. They both flipped. Cool, we'll leave it there. Potential pops out, okay? And then we also have wholeness popping out as well so this honestly this is a good thing this is a good thing a lot of you are coming into realization as to the potential that you actually have right pushing yourself a little more to get things done okay you didn't know you you want to know how far you can go you didn't know you had the shit in you right you're finding wholeness and peace within yourself you're all that you need right now that's the energy that she's giving me right with her hands out okay i'm all that i need right now who the fuck else do i need you know what I'm saying? You have expression coming through. So someone here is definitely expressing themselves, talking about how they feel, what they want, making things happen there. Nice. So we're going to go ahead now and tap into what it is that you have going on in your world. I want to be sure that I'm going ahead and going ahead and I'm so country these days. What is it that my Aquarius gang has going on in the world spirit? I want to know exactly what's going easy. Okay, you can do it. Right. So I said earlier that a lot of you were trying to figure out exactly how far you could go. A lot of you ran into your full potential or, you know, discovered your full potential, right? So unmasking your identity. Um, you have twin flame coming in. Everything is possible. Realizing that you're able to do anything that you want to do. A lot of you could be getting into a relationship with a fire sign or a water sign. If you aren't already dealing with that sign, could be your moon and rising as well but there's compassion coming in so i definitely feel like there's new love again a lot of you're in the space of getting married i just see wedding bells and dresses and things like that but then what did we say we had expression come out and then we have speaking your truth so there's a lot of talking there's a lot of committing there's a lot of things to be said a lot a lot of conversations to be had let's go ahead and tap into what it is that you should expect What is it that my Aquarius game should expect, Spirit? Let's go ahead and tap into what it is that my Aquarius game should expect. Thank you. The Phoenix. Okay, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change of mind. Okay, so a lot of you could be rebuilding with a 
old partner here. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship. There's sunglasses at the bottom of the deck. So someone is peeping you right now. Someone's watching you, trying to figure out exactly what you got going on, checking to see if you're good, right? There's not a lot of conversation happening on your end, right? You're looking for happiness. Things could be a little playful. You have the dragonfly coming out as well. So being lighthearted, um, things that need to come to the light, right? So all in all, I feel like there's a conversation that is needing to be had between you and someone. This could spark a new flame, rekindle a relationship, or this could just move you in the direction of finally finding peace. Simple as that, if we slow it down. Because I feel like a lot of you are rushing for this conversation to happen, or a lot of you are rushing for a situation to occur instead of letting it take its course. And it's one of those things where everybody is going through this healing process at this moment, everybody being like yourself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, crazy enough, fell right in my hand. You have wedding rings, what did I say? Okay, and then beneath that you have soulmates. Okay, but I do feel that someone feels they are not enough. Go ahead and focus in on me, please. Someone feels they're not enough. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. So off the rip, I do feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of thinking going on here. You don't really know if someone has their best interests. You you can at times picture yourself having a life with someone here, but for some of you, there's just something that doesn't sit well with you. You're trying to really make sure that this is a situation you can push through. What I will say is coming from me personally. If you have to think so hard on it, maybe this isn't the situation for you, right? Because when you know, you know, especially when it comes down to this point for my fellas or whoever it is that makes that firm decision on asking for someone's hand in marriage, when you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Now, whether it works out, that's completely, you know, dependent on the teamwork and the effort that's put in from both parties. But when a person knows that they want to spend or at least attempt to spend the rest of their life with someone, that's what they'll do. So... For a lot of you, this person is definitely your soulmate. You find that you can change with this person. This person is able to help you see things differently, right? Change your point of view. There's lots of um, passion and um, attraction here, right? Seduction. A conversation with this person just gets you like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? Let's go ahead and tap into the energy real quick as to what the person on Aqua's mind would like to say. Hmm. This is real mixy. Because for half of you, it's like you're in it, you want to be committed to this person, but you don't really trust this person. Um, it could be a disconnect based off of, you know, conversation being short. Maybe you and this person don't necessarily live close to each other. But then for a lot of you, it's going in the direction of maybe this person feels like they're not enough or you feel that you're not enough at times. There's some balance that needs to happen here. There's lots of love here, but there's some insecurities taking place. Someone is very insecure about how happy they can make you. Okay. Let's go ahead and tap into the energy of the person on Aqua's mind. Okay. I want to know what is important right now when it comes to what this person would like to say to Aqua. What are they not saying? What is this person? Thank you. Whew. Heavy. So I left you before you could leave me. Um, I look for you everywhere. Right. So for the person that feels that they are not enough, I do feel that this person kind of pushed back, kind of got cold feet and um, is really thinking about if they can come in. I do feel that this person really does care, maybe even be in love with you. But there's something there's some insecurity there that makes them feel like they're not enough. Right. They don't have the confidence. They lack the confidence in this in this relationship. Um, somebody's even jealous, you know what I'm saying, or has ego issues. Um so that kind of self-sabotages, they, they self-sabotage themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why though? Right? It's kind of like you've expressed how you feel with this person. You've let them know exactly what's going on. And they still tend to think that things are just not um, what you say. I wish I could share my good news with you. So I just feel that this is a very stubborn person, period. It's kind of just like shit is happening for no reason. Like we can talk about it, but instead you want to be ridiculous. So whatever. Let's go ahead and touch a little deeper as to what is going on in my Aquarius world right now. Go ahead and shuffle one more time.
let's go ahead and tap into what it is that is going on for my Aquarius. What is in regards to this soulmate energy? Okay. What is the energy going on for my Aquarius right now? My soul moon and rising signs. Thank you. Okay. So we have the page of wands coming out of reverse. Acting out lack of energy, discouragement, obstacles. Someone who breaks your heart. So walking away. They thought that walking away would actually help the situation. And it's not. You have Sagittarius in the reverse. Okay, so this is someone who you may be expecting to, you know, approach you differently about a situation, come forward and like talk about certain things. But they think that you're just wanting your time. You're wanting your space. So this isn't happening. Um, I don't know. Let's go ahead. What's going on for my Aquarius right now? Spirit, can we please go ahead and tap into what is going on for my Aquarius right now? What is the energy surrounding my Aquarius right now? Spirit, can we please go ahead and tap into the energy? Thank you. We have Cancer coming in the Two of Cups in reverse, okay? And then we have the Knight of Wands. So definitely a disconnection, some, some imbalance going on, unhappy couples, okay? There's been an argument. There's been some conflict. There's just been a disconnect. Maybe we just don't mesh anymore. Um, arrogant, reckless, dealing with someone who promises things but isn't able to deliver, right? Someone here could have promised that there would have been an engagement, a marriage, okay, taking place and nothing happened, right? You were looking to move forward with this person and nothing happened. You have the tower coming out of reverse, um, resisting change, averting disaster, avoiding tragedy. This is someone who just doesn't want to ruin the connection that you both have, but then walking away and not keeping it a buck with you and being honest is definitely ruining the connection. There's no communication here, right? Definitely gives me that you guys are soulmates. You guys are just so completely opposite that you both aren't trying to step on each other's toes right now. Um, regret, refusing offers, missed opportunity. Exactly. The number 16 could represent something for someone here. There's apathy coming out. So fixated on what's in front of you instead of realizing the bigger picture. There's so many more. There's so many other opportunities and options that can happen. Things that can take place, right? Um, but I do feel that your person could be daydreaming, right? Not really wanting to work out their issues, talk about their problems. Yeah, they have a problem moving forward. I do feel that for a lot of you, this could be something that changes, right? Getting out of that place of feeling stagnant in your hermit phase, Forgiveness, rejoining the world. Yeah, somebody here feels lost. You could have lost someone, okay? And, you know, it's taking you a minute to uh, a minute to really gather your thoughts. Aquarius energy comes out, okay? As well as Libra energy. But you find this peaceful resolution. Being able to finally communicate and ending conflict. There's also a third party that is revealed somewhere in here, okay? Releasing pain, overcoming depression, Okay, so a lot of you are definitely getting out of this very depressive or depressing state. Um, again, if you lost someone, it's understandable. You have your energy as well as Gemini coming out. The Knight of Swords indicating missed opportunities. Hmm. But the Page of Swords indicating delayed news. Okay, yeah, so a lot of you um, are very curious, right? A lot of you have this curious... Um, Thing about you wanting to see how far you can go right we we talked about pushing your potential so or there could be someone in here who just comes into this mode of protecting okay again you have, you have gemini energy coming through so this could be someone that you see as a protector someone who's able to get you out of your feelings and communicate with you um you all could be going on a trip with this person too again i mentioned you know you you may not live next to this person but maybe this person is coming to see you Maybe you're going to go see somebody else. You have Leo energy coming out, though, in compromise, ending conflict. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of arguments that have been taking place that come to an end. You've been battling a lot of stuff with a lot of people lately, having to get people to see and understand where you're coming from. You're into your creative expression right now. It's more so about what makes you happy rather than what makes other people happy. I feel like a lot of you just don't care. You're out dating. There's some affection taking place, and you have your ideal man or woman, right? So you run into this person who is just very headstrong, sees things the way you do, and is able to be more of a team player rather than just someone you're dealing with, right? Um, I feel like this person 
is also a creator. So someone who's full of new ideas and proposals. This could be someone who comes in to propose to you or you're proposing to this person. Either way, you feel that this is your person, right? There's someone who just makes you feel whole, period. Let's go ahead and tap into the energy of this person. Thank you. Yes. So someone says yes, for sure. There's the Empress energy coming out. We have pregnancy, fertility, motherhood, um, sensuality, nurturing, creativity, okay? Um, someone could be having a baby here, maybe starting a family. The number three represents something. You have this coming out in Taurus, okay, as well as Pisces. Page of Cups in the reverse, childhood issues, okay? Someone who does not plan for tomorrow. So a lot of you... I do feel like this could be your energy. I feel like a lot of you just kind of get up and go with the flow, don't really have a plan. That all changes at some point because now you have something to focus on. Um, you have culmination coming out at the bottom of the deck. So unexpected financial windfall. This is definitely someone who's able to be financially free. It's a lot happening at one time for you, Aqua. I think a lot of you probably worry about your financial state right now, trying to figure out exactly how things are going to happen and how quickly you can manifest change, but it's all in due time, right? A lot of you just need to work again on patience. There's so many things coming out. You have budgeting, right? A lot of you need to budget better. Holding on to people and possessions, getting rid of people. Some of you are going to have to stop hanging out with friends. Okay, you have Gemini coming out in the lover. So again, a lot of you need your soulmate at this time. If you haven't already, you will. It's someone who comes in with the desire to make you happy, right? A new connection, shared values. We already touched on that. Y'all meet somebody who's just like you. You have the hermit that came out in reverse. Okay, so getting out of this state of soul searching, finally finding your, your soulmate heavy Aquarius energy coming in in transition. Okay, we have the Six of Swords, calmer waters, healer, progress, moving on, moving forward. A lot of you are traveling here very, very soon. You have a Sagittarius and Leo coming out, recognition and action in the reverse. So I do feel like a lot of you may not be making the choice to move now, but you eventually will. This is definitely something that's running in the back of your mind, moving and relocating, recognizing that you are successful in your achievements. Okay, a lot of you need to give yourself a pat on the back period. But I do see celebrity status and having fans and supporters in a crowd, people that are being able to support you come in in full effect. Um, you have vibrancy coming out at the bottom of the deck with the queen of wands, good business, sense of confidence, okay, an attractive, magnetic, mature woman. It all makes sense. I feel like I honestly need to leave this right here. I feel like this was a very good pick me up. Um, a kind, loyal, generous, confident, competitive woman enjoys family, enjoys life, happiness, speaks her truth. Should we go ahead and tap into what it is that this person would still like to say? I feel like there's still someone here who would like to say something to the person that I'm speaking to right now. Whoever is on Aqua's mind, what is it that this person would like to say? There's still some unfinished conversations, okay? We're going to tap back in. Now that I'm comfortable and I'm back home... We are going to be doing some some more updates for sure. Because there's so many of y'all with different energy. Let's go ahead and tap into what it is that this person in office one would like to say a lot. Let's run it. I feel you even when we're apart. Right? So if there's a disconnect, you're not talking to someone as normal as you or as often as you would normally. It's just because I feel they may be going through some things personally. I wish I could take back my words. Maybe there were some things expressed by someone that you did deal with, um, you know, that they they didn't mean to say. Two different energies here. There's someone that you're dealing with who wishes that you guys weren't necessarily a part at this time. And if it is the person that feels that way, that said something mean to you, they definitely want to be in your presence. So... I hid who I really am from you, right? We have a liar, we have a deceiver, we have a pretender. I am afraid to contact you. Of course you are. Of course you are. Because you lied. I wish I had treated you better. Okay. I wait for you. Um, I wait for a sign from you. So there's someone here who's definitely waiting on your sign to allow them to come in and speak. Some of you have somebody blocked so good or you're just really not giving this person the attention that you would normally give or that they're expecting from you. Normally things are different through conversation, but there's just a disconnect here. You know what I'm saying? Period. 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. If you are again new to my channel, I hope that you enjoyed this. We will be back with some more updates throughout the night. I just wanted to make sure that I gave you guys this update. Be sure that you click that subscribe button so that way you can become a part of the cartel crew. Like, comment, share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.